be bad to lose a kid back there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, we're out here at Dinosaur Valley State Park and this is our family's first ever backpacking trip all together. We got Hi. Ethan there in the blue, Caden's right behind him, and Olivia's back in the back. And we are hiking out to uh, primitive site number seven. They just opened these backcountry sites after being closed for a year. So we're excited to get out there. This is the same site that uh, Caden and I both stayed at um, a couple of Decembers ago and so uh, he really liked that site so we're doing it again. So we're heading up here to the river, across the river, and then uh, hiking back to our campsite. Give you an idea of where we're heading. We are camping in this uh, primitive site right there. That is number seven. Really not too far of a hike, just a couple miles up the trail. Now drying your feet off. Well, we just crossed the river and it was quite the adventure. Um, it rained a pretty good amount a couple days this week, so the river's up a little bit. I think it might have been possible to get across with uh, keeping your shoes on and keeping them dry, but that had taken a long time and there's a ton of people down there. It is a uh, Saturday in spring and the park is packed right now. So that's about the part where we cross the river. We're just on a trail up above it right now. Well, we just made it up to the overlook and uh, you can see by the size of our packs there, this is definitely not an over, overnight ultralight trip. We're good, definitely going ultra heavy on this. I'm carrying uh, some of my stuff, some of Caden's stuff, and pretty much all of Ethan's stuff. Olivia's got our whole tent and all her stuff. Caden and Ethan each got some of their clothes their quilts for tonight. It is uh, right toward the end of March, but it's, it's really humid and pretty hot out here. I think the high is around 80 degrees today. We're gonna try to cool off, have a snack, and enjoy the view. All right, Ethan, what's the number one rule of today? No complaining. This happens every time we go hiking, but uh, Ethan tends to go slow and struggle a little bit unless he is leading the pack and then he is more than happy to walk fast. So I think that's his spot in our family. And then Olivia and I are back here in the back. That way we can kind of watch over him while we're walking. Be bad to lose a kid back there somewhere. 
<laughs> Looks like our trail's a little flooded out. Big jump. Big jump. Come on, Olivia, you can do it. What'd you find? Fossil. Oh, what kind of fossil do you think that is? I think it's a T-Rex. It could be. It's <laughs> All right. His backbone, maybe. We yeah, have made it to campsite number seven. Caden's headed that way on the side trail over the campsite. And Ethan's just happy to be here. I think uh, we're gonna put our tent right there in this flat spot and then put the hammocks and the trees right back there behind us. The boys are staying in our side-by-side -side hammocks and me and Olivia are gonna stay in our tarp tent. Our boys are in some war bonnet hammocks back there in the back that are connected to the same tree with a spreader bar between them. They're hanging out back there and we, yes, carried in chairs on this trip, which is a super great idea. And uh, we only had two or three miles hike back here, so it wasn't too bad. But now we're gonna have happy hour and uh, we mixed up some margaritas at home and froze some water bottles and put that in the fridge. So it's gonna be pretty good. We're excited about those. Trying to make sure we both get equal amounts. We don't want to be unfair. These have uh, tequila, simple syrup, lime juice, fresh lime juice we squeezed, and fresh orange juice in there. We drink these a lot at home. And we're kind of margarita experts. Cheers. They're not ice cold, but they're tasty. So this is our GSI. Um, it's basically like a platypus, like a water bladder, but uh, it's made for wine. And you don't have to have this, obviously. Um, but we've had this for several years and I really like it. Um, you can put a bottle of wine in there and uh, have it ready for you whenever you go out. And the cool thing about it is this whole thing opens up and makes a really big pour spout um, to be able to pour the wine in or this top part opens up and makes a small spout um, for pouring it in your wine glass. And then it has all this stuff on the back that it really doesn't matter. It tells you what, what temperatures for what kind of wines and you can write what kind of wine is in there down there at the bottom with a marker and wipe it off. We never did any of that, but uh, it is pretty nice for being able to put enough wine in there for uh, an outing. And we've done that a few times. Enjoyed this at Smith Spring at Guadalupe Mountains one time, and that was a really fun trip. Anyway, um, definitely not necessary. You could put wine in whatever, but um, it is kind of fun to uh, take this along with us. So for dinner, we're having gluten-free shells and cheese because uh, Caden's been eating gluten-free, so we're all eating that. And we finally found a brand that we like. Caden's gonna open our cheese sauce for us with his pocket knife. Try it again, same spot. Hey, just cut it same way you just cut it. Do it again, one more time. Mm. 
Perfect. Good job, dude. Thanks. Job most of the time. Squeeze out. out the cheese. So <laughs> it looks like poop. <laughs> does what? your poop look like that? No, it does. Nuclear corn. That's yuck. Okay. So the boys are eating at their table over there, having their mac and cheese and some water. And Olivia uh, cooked up some ground beef before we came and mixed it in with our portion over there, make it a little heartier. Boys, how's y'all's mac and cheese? Give you a tour around of our setup that we're staying in. This is the tarp tent double rainbow. I'm using a big Agnes pad. Libby's using a Thermarest Neo Air pad. Um, I have a Go Light quilt. She has a Go Light uh, sleeping bag over there with a Sea to Summit pillow. The boys are staying in these War Bonnet El Dorado hammocks under here. That's a War Bonnet Cloudburst tarp. And I got the Pole mod. If you've seen any of my videos, you've seen this setup. This is exactly what me and Caden stayed in last year when we stayed at this hammock site. Um, that is a uh, Eno spreader bars. Um, be able to hang two hammocks from the same trees. Um, you can see the arrowhead equipment under quilts off to the sides of the hammocks right now. The boys were hanging out in there earlier. Would have been a little too warm for them right now. Um, have a black diamond Moji lantern hanging up there. So they can have a little night light while they're going to bed and then they have a couple costco quilts in there it's supposed to be around 55 tonight so um, it's going to be not too cold and they got their sweaters and things like that to keep them warm olivia and i are hanging out over there about to have happy hour number two she brought a can of red wine and i have some maker's mark 46 bourbon Boys are playing over there, making all sorts of food out of leaves and grass and bark and things like that. And that is campsite number seven. It's a really big open campsite right here on the bend of the Cedar Breakout or Loop Trail. And uh, you'll hear a mountain biker go by every once in a while. We hadn't heard anybody in an hour or so, probably about done for the night. And we'll have this whole back corner of the park to ourselves. The boys are doing a competition cooking show back there at their table and Olivia's having some wine. Somebody's in trouble and having a time out. So we just heard some thunder and uh, so we're getting some things put under the boys hammock tarp. We got our tent all uh, zipped up and I'm able to get reception here. I looked and it's not a very big line of storm. So hopefully we just get a tiny bit of rain if we get anything at all. And we're getting the boys for ready for bed over there and about gonna call it a night. Appreciate you guys following along and we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> we're all hanging out under the tarp, yeah, hiding out from the rain. Yeah. <laughs> what? You're That was the 
hot chocolate. Boys are enjoying their hot chocolate. It's about probably mid 50s right now. It's not real cold, but it is a little breezy, which makes it feel a little colder. They had peanut butter rice krispies for breakfast, and now they are warming up with their hot chocolate. dried out overnight our tent and tarp was pretty much dry super glad we brought the hammock and the tarp because uh, it actually rained pretty good for a while and uh, we were all able to get under there the boys laid their hammocks and then me and Olivia brought these chairs and sat them under there so we we're all hanging out under there together and then uh, it was windy enough last night that everything pretty much dried back out so um, that's nice and we got camp about halfway packed up we're just taking things slow, going to pack everything else up and then take the Cedar Break Outer Loop Trail for a couple miles back around to the same river crossing where we crossed yesterday. We're just enjoying our coffee and the boys are off playing in the woods like little boys do. And there's one of them back behind us. And uh, just have a good morning. <laughs> Almost back to the car, and I think everybody had a great time, right? Yes! It was awesome, actually. The yes, boys what? said they really enjoyed that. Ethan did great on his first backpacking trip, and our first family backpacking trip is in the books. At Dinosaur Valley State Park, March 2021. Appreciate y'all following along. We'll see you next time.